And this really isn't a good time. I can see that, Doc. My solar car's out of control! Darn thing won't shut off! The accelerator is stuck. The steering system seems to have a mind of its own. And I'm getting a little car sick. All right, team, you heard the doc. Let's do what we do. The vehicle has turned south onto March Lane. We drop down and bounce on his roof to slow him down. Helping out is good. Dropping's okay. Bouncing, I'd like to discuss a little further. Danny, you two just keep an eye on things from up there. <sighs> Doc's now on Waverly. <laughs> Headed right for some parked cars. Roger that. I'm on it. I think you mean we're on it, don't you? Just get us there, Heat Wave. <gasps> You know, if I were a ground unit, I'd try to pop Doc's tires. Good idea, Blades. Guys, I'll go back to the station and get a spike strip. Then we can... No need, Danny. Boulder and I can improvise. What do you think? Feasible? A thing of beauty. the automated tire replacement works. Oh, no. Doc's on Old Canyon Road. A routine patrol with four bots and stasis. He's laid up a hook in the strangest of places. Earth was their home. Can you stop Doc's car if we land in front of it? Beats dropping and bouncing. No, Danny. Stay in the air. Chase and I are closing in. Can uh, let go of the wheel now. <sighs> all in all, except for the part where I couldn't stop or steer, not a bad test run. Uh, yeah. An out of control vehicle, an unsuspecting public, disaster in the making. How did our brave family of heroes save Griffin Rock yet again? Kate Burns. Guts. That's what it takes to stare down a runaway car with nothing but a ladder. It was harrowing, but I dug deep and... Uh... Graham, anything to add? <clears throat> well, um, in order to create a makeshift tire hazard, I had to calculate the distance between... And how did you contribute, Danny? Me? I... Ah, Danny monitors everything from the air. I tell you, we couldn't do our job without my little sis. <laughs> we probably could, but... <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, a rescue of this type requires a lot of skill and concentration. 
You know, if there's mud to be found, Boulder's gonna roll right through it. I'm part tractor. It's what I do. I believe there must be a more efficient way to halt a runaway car than skiing behind it. There sure is. Keeping Doc Green out of the driver's seat. <laughs> Gotta love the Doc. Keeps us busy. <sighs> Some of us. Others only watch from the sky. Aw, don't feel bad, Blades. Maybe our next rescue will happen in the air. <sighs> that would be nice. As long as it's not too high in the air. What's it matter who does what? None of us is appreciated. What do you mean, Heat Wave? Did you notice that I was the one out there risking hook and ladder? But Cade took all the credit. Once again. Well, I don't always get thanked for helping either. Neither does Danny. But I know we're appreciated. Something tells me Danny would not agree with you. Doc, are you here? Oh! Sorry, Danny. I'm building a replacement for the newspaper dispenser I ran over. <laughs> one that beans readers in the head? Oh, no, no, no. One that tosses papers into your car as you drive by. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to thank you for your help today. Well, I didn't do much. But that's all going to change. Can you build me one of these? Ah, a scoop claw. You know, they used something like this on the island years ago for logging. Might even have one in storage. Could you lend it to me? Absolutely. Right after that thing runs out of Sunday editions. What are you doing? Cody, I beg of you, talk some sense into your sister, please. Relax, Blades. You're looking good. Hardly noticeable. Yeah, just don't fly over any power lines. <laughs> Actually, that is sound advice. What is that thing? A scoop claw. And it's going to put both Blades and me into the action. Right, Blades? So you keep telling me. Time to winch it up. Hand me the remote, please. I can do it. I don't know. It's a little complicated. Yeah, pressing a button is so tricky. I just wanted it done right, little brother. Let's see you transform with it, Blades. Nobody laugh. Oh, I love it. I have to show Dad. <laughs> what? Does it make me look fat? Oh, not at all, Captain Leadbelly. Come on, don't make fun of him. Ah, uh, he knows we're joking. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Blades just wants to be treated like he matters. Oh, oh, come on, Cody, we're just... You guys never know when to stop, do you? Cody, get to the command center. We have a rock slide to deal with. Your 20. We need all hands. Blades and I are almost there. Cody, can you see what's coming down the hillside at us? Stand by. A boulder as big as a house is coming right down on top of you. A boulder as big as a house is coming right down on top of you. A house? Sounds like the whole neighborhood. The way I see it, we have two options. 
Smash it or grab it. Smash it! On three. One, two, three! Huh? Oh. Huh. Whoa. Stand down, boys. Blades and I have it under control. Nice job, Danny. You too, Blades. That was certainly unexpected, though impressive. Yeah, 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 but since when do we not test the new apparatus before using it? Consider today the test, Grumpy. See you back home. There will be no living with Blades now. Blades! That was so cool! How'd you know you could pull that off? I didn't really. I, I thought the boulder would be too heavy, but then I tapped into a reserve of strength I didn't think I had. I'm trying to tap into a reserve of patience I don't think I have. For the record, Blades, that operation exceeded the acceptable level of risk. Guys, you should be happy for him. It was a great save. Oh, sure was. We could have been flattened out there. So thank you, Blades, for coming to our rescue. Anytime. Another thrilling rescue by Danny Burns and her helicopter bot. Okay, if you yell, she's just going to yell back. We're not mad, Cody. We only want to talk to her. No, I'm mad. She's just trying to help. Helping is one thing. Hogging every mission is another. Hey, slackers. Rescue work has never been this much fun, am I right? Woo! <laughs> Something wrong? <clears throat> uh, Danny, we're concerned you might be stretching yourself a little thin. What he means is, stop hijacking our rescues. Your rescues? Uh, yeah. You're swooping in like some hotshot. Actually, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Except it's not your job, Danny. It's all of ours. Well, if you ask me, there's always room for... Oh, Cody, please, this doesn't really concern you. You know, where, where's Dad? What's he say about this? Hey, you know Dad. He wants us to work this out ourselves. Hand over that claw, Blades. I promise you won't feel a thing. Cody, a little help, please? This doesn't concern Cody. Really? You guys, too? Uh, we were just thinking that it might be best if the claw isn't used quite so often. Nobody had a problem when it was a big joke, but now that I'm saving the day, Technically, you're not saving the day. You're assisting the day when the day has not requested assistance. That claw is staying right where it is. Blades, we're going back out on patrol where we are appreciated. Excuse me. I'm needed in the field. What are you gonna do about this, Cody? Nothing. Like everybody says, this doesn't concern me, right? Fine, I'll see what I can do. Danny, hold on. I'll be your spotter. Keep your eyes peeled, Cody. Okay, with luck, we can take care of any problems before Cade or Graham even learn about them. You know the saying, the whirly bird gets the worm. I liked you all better when you were on the same team. We're still a team, Cody, it's just... Sometimes Cade and Graham think I can't do anything on my own. Yeah, I know the feeling. What do you mean? You kind of treat me the same way. Oh, Cody, I do not. Do I? Yeah, you do. And then every time Kate or Graham make you mad, 
I have to stay out of your way. You think I take my anger out on you? Cody speaks the truth. Take it from someone whose controls get a furious workout when you're mad. Cody, I'm sorry. I'll do better, I promise. Thanks. And you too, Blades. I'll go easier on the controls. Hmm. This conversation has been very cleansing, hasn't it? We better head back. Electrical storms and aeronautics do not mix. Location. Danny, tell me where you are. Ridgeline Cliff! Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Don't worry. I'm sure it looks worse than it feels. Uh, actually, no. It hurts. Just take it easy, Blades. Yeah, help will be here soon. We can't stay here. Which way to the road? Uh, maybe we should ride out the fire inside, Blades. I can handle the heat, but you two would bake inside me like snickerdoodles. So that cliff is our only way out? We don't have the equipment to scale it. Sure we do. Here we go. Activate the winch. You do it. Everyone all right? Yes. Nice job, Blades. <gasps> yeah, but now what? Look! Well, that's a problem. Dad, do you read? Cade? Graham? That power surge must have fried it. I'll try flying again. Everything will be all right. The team will find us. I see them. Heat wave, Kate, lead the way. You heard the chief, Potts. Let's grow some legs. <laughs> Feel. Blades, you might have to transform so we can make a run for the road. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but I can't move. I must be more damaged than I thought. To blades but he's injured dad bad he can't transform he won't need to
Danny, how did you feel being a rescuer in need of rescue? I felt lucky to be a part of such a brave family of heroes. And that includes my little brother, Cody. Thanks, Danny. And we couldn't do any of what we do without our amazing, amazing rescue vehicles. See that heat wave? We're officially appreciated. She could have mentioned us by name. Blades, how are you feeling? Much better, thank you. Spend an hour in the stasis pod and I'm ready for action. Only an hour? Then where have you been all afternoon? Well, Danny and I were retrieving the scoop claw from the cliff. <sighs> oh, you're still gonna use that thing? Only when we need it, which hopefully won't be too often. That claw is so uncomfortable. And you know what else? Your waistline looks better, too. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Griff, think fast. Good one, Griff. Uh, that's an H for you, man. Oh, Mmm, I can't wait till tomorrow. The lobster dinner is the best part of the festival. <laughs> no way, Cody. The parade of technology is the best. Especially my dad's float, which did I mention I get to ride on? Frankie, it's called the Lobster and Technology Festival, not the other way around. Tech's not that important. <sighs> Fine. Then the next time you need your computer fixed, call a lobster. Hi, Frankie. Hi, son. Hold this, will you? We're almost finished inflating these parade balloons. Save the biggest for last. Cody, did you tell Frankie about you and the bots? I get to ride in the parade, too, with Dad. The rescue bots are the guests of honor. <laughs> Robots? <laughs> Big deal. Griffin Rock's got a million of them. Transform and rescue. Ah! I'm sorry. to the rescue. your ladder way ahead of you as usual watch yourself there are people around heat wave climb yes master be careful daddy 
I'm all right, Fred. <laughs> Easy now. Down a little. And... Got it. Uh, sorry, I gave you a scare, honey. Uh, sorry, I gave myself a scare. But I I'm fine. Thanks to you, Kate. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, I must have uh, something caught in my throat. Thanks again. Cody, might not be a bad idea to have a little brush-up class for the bots. Some of them seem to be forgetting their robot behavior. And with all eyes on us tomorrow... I'll take care of it, Dad. Okay, you guys, remember... Whenever you're around anybody other than my family, you have to pretend to be robots. Repeat after me. I am a robot. I am a robot. Hey, where's Heatwave? He's the one who needs this refresher. Haven't seen him. Well, what he did yesterday, don't do. No emotion. And you can't react unless we tell you to. Uh... Boulder? Oh, sorry. But there's so much to look at. And I've never been to a parade. I want to see everything. Think of it like a game. Simon says, turn to your right. Simon says, raise your left arm. Turn left. Simon did not authorize that last movement. Right, Chase. Remember, at the parade, you can only do what your handlers tell you to do. And that's precisely why I'm not going. Pretending to be hardware and obey humans who end up taking all the credit? Ah, uh, I'm sitting this one out. Heatwave, look, I don't blame you. My brother Cade can be a huge glory hog. But think of all those little kids who would love to see you and climb onto a fire truck. My point exactly. What do human children put on their fingers anyway? Last time I let one climb on me, I was sticky for days. Heatwave, you've seen the poster in the chief's office. Oh, you mean the one with the kitten hanging from the branch? No, the one that says there is no I in team. We're all part of the RescueBot squad. We need to stick together. You RescueBots are my team. The humans are just my mission. No offense, Cody. Festival time. We'll head over in vehicle mode, then you'll transform to march in the parade. We get to march? This is gonna be great. Call forwarding on. Wow, she really has that robot voice thing down. Why are we waiting? Let's go! I'm trying. There must be something wrong with my ignition. Try a little harder. I am. It's... it's not working. Well, fine with me. Now I can enjoy the parade without having to worry about Cranky Bot. Town sure will be disappointed. You know how the little ones love to climb on a fire truck. Wait here. Cody, check it out! My dad's newest invention! I call it Flodium. After last night's trouble, I realized what the world needs is a synthesized, controllable helium. See? A balloon with old helium. Gone forever. New Flodium. Voila! No more lost balloons, no more unhappy children, and no more clinging for my life from the tops of buildings. That is so cool! We've already put Flodium in the parade balloons. See? Cody, 
It's showtime. Incredible! Shh. Hey, we was missing a great time. Without a doubt, the biggest <laughs> and best lobster and tech best <laughs> ever. Boy, it just makes you want to bib just watching them, huh? And the color, the color of the... <laughs> I mean, they can't even walk in a straight line without me. Aren't there usually four rescue bots? <laughs> oh, well, the crowd doesn't seem to miss him. Excuse me, I'd like that lobster, please. Excuse me? Dig into one of those. Whoa! Maybe lobsters are the best part of the festival. Flying lobsters? <laughs> Dad! Flobsters! What are you talking about? Flying lobsters! Look! <sighs> At least it's not livestock again. Is there any way we may assist? Just stay here for now. As robots. must have ingested the Floatium. I had no idea it was effective on living tissue. <laughs> this is even better than my spray-on pants. But the Floatium will lose potency, right, Doc? Peter out the way helium does. The Floatium was designed to last through the parade, plus the time for everyone to take their balloons home, divided by the half-life of the helium atom. Uh, two days. Two days? We're going to have lobsters? Uh, flobsters, Dad. Flobsters flying around Griffin Rock for two days? Precisely. A crustacean infestation. That can get a little annoying. I may have a solution. I need to get back to my lab. Can I stay here, Dad? These flobsters are fun! Just be careful. Uh, that's good advice. These things do have claws. Hey! Watch it, you selfish shellfish! Ash, your mayor, I consider myself the head of the whole Griffin Rock family. So come on down, family. Enjoy some tech. Enjoy some tech! Oh. Well, there it is. You, you have just seen it, ladies and gentlemen. Our town is under attack. Ah. Uh, hide your children, guard your property, boil some water. No! We can edit that out later, right? Come here, you little delicious crustacean. <laughs> ah! Danny, we need blades. Huh. We need all the bots. I'm not sure how much longer I can take this. Blades! 
Saints, transform! With sincere pleasure. Steady. Ah, you can fly, but you can't hide. Already down here, sis. Go back up for another batch. Gotta hand it to you, Squirt. That was a good idea. Maybe, but one trap at a time? That'll take forever. Yes, Mr. Murphy, we know about the lobsters. Are you in any actual danger? Uh, hold on, Cody. I'm forwarding the emergency calls to the comm tab. Stay in touch with us. Things are going nutty all over town. This up, boy. Put your claws over your head and... All points bulletin. Corner of... Lake and Arsenal. The mayor is under attack. We're close. <laughs> Shoot! Get away! No, don't you know who I am? Get! Wait a minute, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Thank you, Boulder. Now, put the mayor down. And, um, I found this? We sure could use Heat Wave. My thoughts exactly. Heat Wave! I know you can hear me. Get over here, you pile of... Cade, that won't help. <sighs> Hello, Heat Wave? Can you hear me? It would be so nice if you could drop by, you pile of... Cade! Hey, where's Frankie? This is your last warning. Come any closer and I'll be sopping up butter with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ha! Finally managed to get your engine started, huh? Just because I don't like parades doesn't mean I'm not gonna do my job. There's no I in rescue bots, right? But there is a me in team. I'm just saying. Cody, I owe you one. And thank you, too. Looks like you're a hero, Heatwave. Just doing my duty. Um, guys? <laughs> Can we do all the thanking and basking after we actually get rid of these things? Rescue team members, return to town square. Doc has something. I just synthesized a new destabilizing compound which will pump into the lobster tank. It immediately starts extracting the floatium from the water. Then, the floatium is emitted harmlessly into the atmosphere through here. And the water returns to normal. See? 
So the lobsters in the tank have stopped floating, but what about the ones still flying around town? Excellent inquiry. <clears throat> We spray the extraction compound directly onto the flobsters. But I only had time to mix one batch, so we'll have to make the flobsters come to us. And how do we do that? We've tried corralling them. It's like herding cats. Yeah, they don't seem to be afraid of anything. Everybody's afraid of something. Okay, let's scare us some flobsters. It's working, Dad. Is Chase ready on your end? All systems go. Let her rip! one I wanted. Ah, hey, good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Hey, <laughs> I need your vote. <laughs> Who's ready for a lobster dinner? Uh, uh, not now. Lost my appetite. Oh, if all parades are like this, I can't wait for next year's. Your planet never fails to fascinate. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I just got it. Flobsters, because <laughs> they fly that <laughs> they're... Okay, never mind. You know, of all the weird things we saw today, that has to be the weirdest of all. Uh, here you go, buddy. Okay, go higher. <laughs> 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 